your pocket quick, right?
The Indians were defending their land. We wanted it, we took it, and we died for it. Um, I apologize for not having the full Lord's orders with me. I will make sure that I have it in my coat pocket next year. Good Lord Boom, the trick doesn't rise, and we're all here to do this. Thank you.
Wally was a longtime cemetery superintendent, a tree warden, and a firefighter. He was a do anything friend and a true public servant. Wally died in 1986, and shortly thereafter, it was decided to make a periodic presentation to a person that epitomized his dedication to the town of Topsfield. The original parameters were neighborliness, generosity, friendliness, honesty, unselfishness, and the willingness to serve the town, to possess a love of kids, to possess the desire to inspire young people, and to possess a love of trees. To these parameters have been added a 20-year residency and a record of significant contribution to the town. The first award was made in 1988, and the past recipients are John Nutter, Bill Johnson, Doris Rolfs, John Kimball, Red Stoltz, Joyce Bergston, Nora Meisler, Yolanda Marciano, Eldridge Gilford, Chick Denault, Joan Pinella, Rose Hubbard, Pat Rolsma, Joe Iarochi, Phil Knowles, Dodd Wass, John Borden, Bob Winship, Bill Whiting, Holger Luther, Dennis Shin, and myself. I feel privileged to be included because in my, in my opinion, these people have made Popsfield what it is to a great extent in the last 40 or 50 years. This year's nominee moved to Popsfield in the summer of 1991 with his wife and daughter who currently attends Masconala High School. Almost from the beginning, he became involved in town government. He has served on several committees and boards in town going as far back as 1992. From 1992 to 1994, he served on the Capital Program Committee. In 1994 and 1995, he served on the Finance Committee. From 1995 to 2000, he served on the Board of Water Commissioners. From 97 to 99, he served on the Zone 2 Study Committee. From 1999 to 2001, he served on the DPW Study Committee. And since, 19, and since 2017, he has been on the Zoning Board of Appeal. In addition to his civic responsibility, he has found time to do other things as well. He has participated for seven years in a thing called the Pan Mass Challenge, which is a grueling biking event from Sturbridge to Provincetown that takes place over several days, the purpose of which is to raise money for the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. His efforts in that event have raised approximately $89,000 for Dana-Farber. He's been an active supporter of the Proctor School Band and the North Shore Youth Symphony. He is currently employed by Sovereign Bank and spends his leisure time on Lake Winnipesaukee. It is my distinct pleasure to present this year's Wally Newman Community Service Award to Scott Dow. Scott Dow.
morning and thank you. I'm a little nervous just because this is the first time I've been on this side of the police microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. Uh, I'm the top field veteran service officer. In Massachusetts, the Department of Veteran Services states that every town in the, in the Commonwealth needs to be represented by a service officer for their veterans. Uh, Massachusetts is one of the two states that's very, very good about this, the other being California. I'd like to thank you all for participating today in our Veterans uh, Memorial Day observance. Men and women in what is now Topsfield and the surrounding communities have been rising to the call for service since pre-colonial days. Although Topsfield is one of the smaller towns in the Commonwealth, who answers the call, needs to be supported by uh, their town and their community. And as I look around here today, I see the support that every soldier, sailor, and airman needs to provide the whole community back of I apologize for that. In, in towns like Topsfield, we looked at school children writing letters, uh, providing bake for bake sales for veterans as they participate in these services, uh, congregations offering prayers for our saints' return and service. Uh, we thank you all for this, and every every veteran needs in uniform needs to know that their community does support them. Uh, last year we placed a monument on our common to First Lieutenant David, John David Larson, uh, who lost his life in Vietnam many years ago. Son to a son of Massachusetts, who was in a small village near a thick forest in Germany, a young man from Arlington lost his life in a tank battle during the Battle of the Bulge. He lay unfound, unknown for more than 66 years. He's been found in the past year and, and returned to Massachusetts, no longer an MIA. And I'd like to ask Tim Perkins. Tim is the post-255 officer who keeps us informed of MIAs and is, is the support for that group. Uh, at this moment, I'd like to ask that Tim offer a salute and a moment of silence for Sergeant John J. Farrell, Jr. of Arlington, Massachusetts. Again, returned after 66 years of being lost in a small village in Germany. Tim? This individual is one of 98,000 individuals that are MIA from World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Angelo? Let it be known that they are not forgotten. Thank you, Tim, and again, thank all for, for participating in our service today. It's, it's very respectful. We honor you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dick. Well, I call you. Colonel Bailey, 2nd Mass Regiment, was assigned Chester, and they're going to have the 21 guns to move after. So kids, block your ears.
The individual that is wounded down on the ground is a sergeant. On his shoulder you will see two cross captains. They were called pioneers in the Civil War days. Today they're called combat engineers. Much of it, they may have 60 years of the uh, Korean War, too. the Korean War. So we have a gentleman from Boston, he's uh, standing in a car room behind him. He was the Frank Convoy. He was in the uh, Bell of uh, Peru. And he's here, too, uh, with us. We're going to be born and head back for the cemetery. Thank you very much. Like I said, I want to apologize for the inconvenience. And aggression. Certainly some enlisted, others were sent, but all made a sacrifice. Indeed, some the supreme sacrifice of dying on a distant, bloodied battlefield. And to them, we owe an immeasurable debt of gratitude. We therefore thank you for what this day commemorates, for who this day celebrates, and the resulting political and personal liberties we enjoy. Help us to never take any of this, or anyone who fought for this, for granted. And Lord, we humbly ask for blessings on all those who have served our country and armed forces in any capacity. Bless them body, soul, mind, and emotion. Where healing is yet needed, please provide. Where hope is weak, would you give them strength? Where courage wanes, bolster it. And in particular, we pray for those currently serving in the far-flung reaches of Afghanistan and Iraq. Ask for your protection over their lives. Grant success to their mission and Lord, would you bring them home safely. Lord of the nations, we thank you for our own. We thank you for all our veterans, especially today for those who gave their lives. May God bless America. Amen. Amen. WMIA prayer by Timmy Perkins. Timmy? I do have it with me this time. <laughs> We've gathered here today for Memorial Day. When you look around, you'll see all the flags on these different grave sites. They're all men and women who served in the United States Armed Forces in one form or another. They weren't all killed in action. Matter of fact, there's two of them here that were, there's one over by the tomb section when you came in off of 97. He died at Andersonville Prison in the Civil War. He was 21 years old. There's an individual over here behind me on the left, Lieutenant J.G., United States Navy. He was a submar submariner. His submarine was lost in the South Pacific in 1943. So he would be listed as an MIA, body not recovered. Remains are still being searched for. A set of remains, as was mentioned earlier, has been returned to Massachusetts after 66 plus years. For family in Pensacola, Florida, Tech Sergeant. Walter McCullen, United States Air Force, remains were found and returned to his family. Who loves all people, Muslim, Christians, and Jew. Protect us from the hatred of those who want to destroy us and
Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountain majesties, 